Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Omochuku. Depending on your location, please note that Victory Express is your own channel where you get the authentic and confirmed news. Please like and share. It's also very important you turn on your notification bell so that you'll be getting our updates as it is happening. And more importantly, always go to the comment section and drop your comments. We accept your criticism and we appreciate your commendation. Now the news update. At least 21 persons killed in electoral violence during March 18 polls. That's according to European Union observers. Okay? Now the European Union, that's the EU chief observer in Nigeria's 2023 charade. The ones, the, the elections, they said they conducted, but we know it's a charade. Okay? Talking about Barry Andrews. He has told journalists in the federal capital to to Abuja that no fewer than 21 persons were killed across the country in that electoral violence during the Saturday's gubernatorial and state houses of assembly elections. While giving the brief on their findings during the elections, Barry said that there was massive voter apathy, which he said was mainly because voters' expectations during the February 25th presidential national assembly elections were not met. You have seen it now. Yes, said we are not met. He further explained that there were records of vote buying in several parts of the country. That's what EU observers say. They went further to say, look, in Nigeria, the democracy they say they are practicing since 1999 say they are, they are backsliding. Say Nigeria is now backs, backsliding in that democracy they say they are practicing. So the EU, EU admitted that Nigeria say that they are practicing democracy. But that democracy they say they are practicing, they are backsliding. Other people are moving forward. Other countries of the world they are making progress. You understand? Moving forward, advancement for human rights, for rule of law. Okay? Nigeria is sliding to medieval era, primitive times. That is what we are now. The election of 2023 supposed to be, you know, an advancement. But what we have seen, as long as EU observers have said now, is that the country is, you know, retrogressively, you know, carrying out a charade. Retrogression, that's what we have witnessed. Yes. So, which way Nigeria? Which way Nigeria? I think we said, look, what Bola and his party did in Lagos was that of Adolf Hitler. It can be likened to Adolf, Adolf Hitler. Yes what Hitler did in Germany. That is it. That's what Atiku said. Okay? And that is what EU observers are saying about the killings across the Federation and police have never arrested one person. Just a single person has not been arrested over that killings. We have seen what we are saying about this conception. Election, is it war? Is it war? But the All Progressive Congress, the ruling party, have made it to be war. The PDP was then, you know, from 1999 to 2015, doing all everything they can to continue to remain in power. Yes, they used to conduct a charade, though. This is not the first time a charade is being conducted. But this one is daylight robbery. Daylight robbery. The APC is not hiding. During the days of PDP, they will try to see if there's any way they can do Magomago. But this one is impunity in the highest order. We are doing it, you can't do anything. You can't do it. We are in our country. If you observe, you can observe and you go. That's what the APC is saying. That's what the ruling party is saying. That's what the politicians are saying. Are we, in our, we are in our country. We have, the, we have the judiciary, we have the police, we have the army, we have everything. So you can observe and you go. Otherwise, why would a country that prides themselves as a giant of Africa, they're supposed to be leading by example so that others will be following them, you know, be found in this kind of, you know, abracadabra. Abracadabra. Look at what they conducted. They call it election. Not, this is not just selection. Because you have seen intimidation of voters, vote buying, harassment, killings to suppress people from coming out to cast their vote or exercise their franchise. That is what happened. And But what we are saying is this. It's what we expected from the conception. We are not surprised that 
such a thing will happen in Nigeria. No. There are people who were surprised, or who are surprised, who were not surprised. We are upbeat that this is what they would do. We have that, that uh, foreboding, that presentiment that this will happen. And the charade they are about to conduct, because that's why we have tagged the charade. No election, says selection process in the 21st century. All right. So, EU, you have seen what happened in Nigeria. Good thing you were here, you have observed it. You have seen that there's no mercantilism for the country in a local balance. That is, there's no way we can remedy the country. That's what it means. Remedy. You can't remedy Nigeria. This is 21st century. This is 2023. You have seen the charade. That means we are sliding into the medieval. We are going backwards. So what is it that will, be do, will, will, will the international community do to Nigeria to make them to understand that they have to lead other African countries by example. Nothing. Nothing. They have defied all means to direct and redirect them towards the advancement of democracy and human rights. They have defied all you know, directives. The EU, the United Nations, advanced countries like the US, UK and others have provided for Nigeria to advance themselves. To understand that rule of law is the end thing this time around. So they have defiled all this means, so it then means that they cannot learn. They are not willing to learn. They have said it, you come, you observe, you go. We said it last time that the governor in Kaduna State once made that very, you know, uh, contemptuous statement, highly inflammable and condemnable as well. That the international observers who came to observe elections will go in body bags. And up until this moment, DSS has not quoted him for that. So observers, are, they can die because they are not human beings. That's the APC. Her Rufai is the governor of Kaduna State. He made that statement. Yes, he never denied it. That was in 2019 elections. So the same impunity they are still perpetuating on Nigeria. So we actually sympathize with Nigerians for what they are going through and the what they'll be going through in, in the coming days because we have seen it. Kabas are in place, they are warming up to take over Nigeria. Kabas are in place already, but more dangerous Kabas are warming up to take over the country. Yes. Those who cannot come out and criticize evil will have President elect who was declared a winner by the INEC. INEC president elect in the country he has not come out to, to, to actually condemn all this violence going on across Nigeria, particularly in his own state. In his own state, where he has been trying hard to succeed himself from 1999, which have occurred well for him. And so, this is there's no future for the country. The country is presently in tatters and in the woods. And more worrisome is the fact that there is.